friends, and welcome back to the Mr. and Mrs. Red X podcast. Now is when my wife would introduce herself normally. <laughs> hey, welcome back. There she is. That's it. All right. So today we're doing some uh, Would You Rather shenanigans, and I'm rather excited for that. We've been talking about it for a week or two, and now it's time to finally pull the trigger. Would you rather be married to a morbidly obese and ugly person who's incredibly wealthy, or be married to a gorgeous person who's on welfare? Oh, be married to a gorgeous person who's on welfare. <laughs> yep, I, I knew that already, because <laughs> when you married me, I was essentially on welfare, <laughs> so... Uh, I don't care about your wealthy, if I have to deal with your face and everything every day. And honestly, I, I have the same answer, so yeah. <laughs> I agree 100%. I don't want to get married to be a lifetime caregiver, you see. We could be poor, but we could go somewhere and enjoy and have a date for free. We could go to the beach, we could go to the river. Yeah. We could go fishing and have some fish for free. And everybody be miring. You go down there to the <laughs> river, you take your shirt off, everybody like, oh, god damn, you know? <laughs> It's but nice. it says morbidly obese. Maybe they, you that is gonna uh, that person is gonna die soon. So probably you get super rich after. But yeah, if I get to pick, I go for the, you know. Yeah, assume assume you love this person. Like, don't oh. assume that you want them to die. <laughs> it's probably not the way to look at it. Well, it's so hard to love a person if you have a you know, if you have a preference. So I go for the second one. Yeah, your preference is, is people who aren't morbidly obese. And I think that's a fine preference to have. And 78% of people would marry a gorgeous person. Yep. That, that, that fat phobia, right, guys? You live on welfare, <laughs> but you see you can eat him every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, it doesn't say the morbidly obese person couldn't, like, work on themselves, <laughs> but I don't know, man. You got, like, <laughs> poor June. You, you good, fam. All I'm saying is the morbidly obese person could work on themselves, you know? And um, We're talking about, like, 800-pounder people. That's okay. They could do it. Get up. Get up and get out before we have to bury you in a piano box. I'm serious. <laughs> this is for real. Uh, I started losing weight because I realized I was getting bigger, and I'm like, no, nah, it can't go this way. Surgery. Plastic surgery. Oh, yeah, well, if you want. <laughs> I'll have different kinds of surgeries. I'll, I'll put some hair back in my head. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, would you rather be a slave in the pre-Civil War no. South or be a slave in ancient Egypt? <laughs> I'd be oh. a slave in ancient Egypt. I like to build... <laughs> That's what? true. You'd be you you have a strong back, baby. Yeah. I would carry shit and build a tower or something like well, that. Well you also like gardening. Yeah. You go and pick a yeah. lot of cotton. That's I'd be a slave. That's fine. Gardening ish. I don't know, I'd pick the, the pre pre war civil south just because it's it's You don't want it. it. No, it's later in time though. You know, like But still they're gonna you know uh, I don't like it. You'd have more benefits. I don't know. I, I just think because of, of where it is, it's more evolved. So m perhaps you get slightly better treatment, medical care. Uh, people don't want their Maybe. slaves to die and stuff like that. Maybe. Yeah. But you have to be in a cage. <laughs> Save in ancient Egypt, you know, you get to live in this little tent. Uh. Slaves in pre-Civil War South had, had houses. Really? Or at least a shanty. I don't think they kept them in a it cage. Has rails. You're still caged up. I don't think so. I don't know. That's how I slave revolts they... happen, and they come in and, and stab the massa. I'm not gonna change my decision. Okay, I'm not gonna I change like it building. either. <laughs> uh, let's see what what chat thinks. Egypt. I wouldn't last in the desert. Are they black or Irish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Irish slave. That's a pretty good position to be in. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really tough question. Yeah, nobody wants to be a slave either way, but um, uh, it seems like we're we're all split down the middle. So let's just see what the results are. <laughs> oh, sixty three percent said pre war civil pre Civil War South. Thirty seven percent said ancient Egypt. 
and and yeah, in the desert, back in time where where, yeah, they didn't even have decent medical care. I mean, I, I guess like they it. did, but yeah, you like I to get build. to relieve the past, you know. That's nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's true. You can see how they really lived. Yeah. Whereas pre-war civil pre-civil war South, we we kind of know already. Interesting. So would you rather have hair covering your whole body or be completely <laughs> bald? <laughs> Entire body, pass. I go for completely bald. I think I gotta say <laughs> bald too. Because uh, it would be weird to walk around without eyebrows, but it's a lot weirder to walk around with hair everywhere. That's true. Wigs exist. Everybody says bald. Nobody yep. wants to have hair covering their whole body. body? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Even you shave it off, it's still gonna be there. Yeah, get your eyebrow pencil yeah. on. You're gonna be good. 74% said bald. 26 <laughs> maniacs said hair covering their, their entire body. I don't understand. Then you're unique. That is very unique. You post some uh, videos on social media, you get trending. You get millions and millions of views in a day. That's true. And you could truly become the, the wolfkin that you've yeah. always wanted to be. You change your name to Wolfbeard and run through the wood and lie down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <coughs> You're into Sasquatches? Is that water there? Yeah. Can I could I have some water? Yes. I'm very dry. What if the hairy people are donating it to the bald people? <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, June. Yeah. There's enough to go around. I want you to wear my uh, body hair, baby. I will. I'll do whatever. <laughs> I'll drink your spit. I don't care. <laughs> uh, uh, would you rather be only able to whisper or only be able to shout? Oh my gosh, whisper. I basically shout all the time anyways. It's fine. No, I go for able to whisper. Do you know how often I say what when you say things? You talk to me from the other room and I say what? And how how much worse that would be with a whisper? I don't know. Uh, yeah, only be able to shout. It's like it's really irritating. This is why there's a lot of That's husband true. hates their wives that yak yaks all the time, <laughs> like armor, like like. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, Imagining that every day. Can you every imagine? Day. Oh no. my gosh. Wifey has her days like that, but uh, thank God that's not every day. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got whisper, whisper, shout, whisper, shout, whisper, shout. So I think whispers are out outnumbering by uh, yeah. just by a little bit. I don't like. Love. Danica says whispers command more respect. Yeah. Is that true? Nobody likes uh, shouting. Just walk softly and carry a big stick and a megaphone. Yep, it's very irritating. <laughs> 